The seemingly most favorite number one asked question that pops up in Q and A's goes something like, if you had to get rid of all your bikes, except one, which one would it be? It is a question that I have struggled to answer consistently every time it comes up. However, for the last month or so, I think I've made a decision. And I bet that you'd be surprised at what it is. Try and guess in the comments below. Yeah, that's right. The old track lacrosse wins over them all. I get that this might seem like a bit of a odd outlier of a choice, but it all kind of comes down to context. The way I see it, if you're putting me into a situation where you gotta get rid of all of your bikes except one, I assume the reason you need to get rid of all those bikes is likely financially driven. And actually, even if it wasn't, probably the most intelligent direction to go would be to make it financially. And that's immediately where my mind goes to all the time. If you've got to get rid of all your bikes except one, what is the best way for me to get a return on all my investment, make as much as I can so that I'm comfortable and have a bike left over that I'm going to be content with to do just about everything I like to do. And every single time I keep coming back to this thing. And then I know what you might be thinking. It's like, well, what about a mountain bike? Why wouldn't you want to keep one of those? And it's like, well, mountain bikes kind of suck for everything other than mountain biking. And I like to be on the dirt for sure, but I also like to spend a good amount of time on the road. Actually, I like to be on the road and like less mountain bikey trails than I ever really prefer to be on these. So I'm happy to just take the money that these things are worth and put it towards whatever financial crisis you've put me into by asking these questions. I don't mean that to be rude, that's just a joke. Having a mountain bike is lovely for going to ride mountain bikes, but there's there's no there's no conceivable scratch that can't be itched while off-road on this thing while I'm going through this this financial crisis that seems to be happening. Admittedly, it wouldn't be super gnarly mountain bike trails, but I've had this thing on like Rudy single track before and and I can think of a few different, like more groomed single tracky trails that if it really came down to it, I could go have a good time on this and be content at the end. What if you want to go do some crazy long gravel rides on difficult gravel roads? Well, I argue, I argue because we've done quite a few road rides on fixed gears on this channel that if I really needed to, I could do it on this too. As a matter of fact, we've played off-road and done all kinds of cool off-road things with this thing already. You just have to take a little more care with your energy and you know, be realistic in the fact that you're probably not gonna be as quick or as efficient as a geared gravel bike, but that don't matter. If you're out riding for fun, who cares? I can hear the thought already. What about the Ronster Cross? Why wouldn't you wanna keep it? And as, and as hard as it would be to let go, such an icon of the channel. I think I would have to say goodbye and just take the security that it could bring and just remember it through videos we've made here. Thankfully, we don't have to do that. But I mean, the Ronster Cross wears a lot of hats. No hats that I don't think we could make happen with the, uh, the track lacrosse bike over here. Got a hankering for a cyclocross race. Imagine this thing with just a coaster brake rear hub on it through like a muddy, sloppy conditioned cyclocross course. Yeah, sure, you're not gonna be competitive. You're gonna be laughing and having a great time the entire duration of the race. Think of this thing as a fixed gear and swapped to a coaster brake bike every so often just for fun and it's like the only one you have, you'd be, you, yeah. I wanna put a coaster brake on this bike. I think it'd be so fun. Road riding, I would happily, happily 
spin around for 40 or 50K on this thing to scratch any road riding itch that may arise during this completely made up scenario of hard times and hardships. Ultimately, ultimately the thing that made me choose a, a track lacrosse bike, maybe not even necessarily my particular track lacrosse bike, but any large volume tire capable fixed gear are the days where I'm like, geez, I don't know what I want to ride today. I don't know what I want to do. And then while you're sitting there like trying to think of something and you're like, you know, what, like, what do I want to do? I can always count on jumping on a single speed track lacrosse build and letting that sort of dictate where you go. And pretty well with a 100% success rate, getting home having had a good time. Like being on the fence of like, geez, do I wanna, like, do I wanna go for a road ride? Or like, do I wanna go mountain biking today? Like, I don't really wanna, like, I don't know. Like, I don't know what I wanna do. I just, I know I wanna be on a bike. That's the one that you can jump on with the idea that it's like, I'm gonna go road riding. And then maybe if you're not feeling it while that's happening and you see a bunch of curbs, you're like, okay, well, I'm just gonna, like, I'm just gonna hop up and down those and that'll be what I do for the next hour and a half or two hours. If there's like a cool little offshoot of gravel single track trail or whatever, uh, you can kind of like bomb through there and it certainly makes it a lot harder and a lot more entertaining, so it has that extra level of fun that maybe a bike that's too capable for that sort of thing might not have the same entertainment value. I think all of it seems a little novel and maybe it's just that I do have so much choice right now that it's like, you know, maybe the bike that's not really that great at any of it becomes the most fun bike to go and explore and, and not really have a plan with. But in my head, um, it's the one that makes the most sense. Get me out of that weird financial hardship that I've somehow gotten myself into with this question. I have tons of options for different style of riding if I want to, and have a platform that like, you know, as things start to get better, you can just pick up maybe a different set of bars and throw it on really easy and not have to worry about a shifter or brakes or anything that you need to change. You just, I'm gonna do drop bars today, boom, throw bars onto the stem or, if you want to change the gearing, the possibilities are endless for the least amount of money with the most amount of things that you can do. And that, that is why my consistent answer for if you had to get rid of all of your bikes except one is going to be the track lacrosse bike from this point forward. Yeah, no, I'm, conf I'm confident with that. Yeah. Yeah, all right. Thankfully, thankfully I'm not in that situation because like you guys are super great about supporting the channel through Patreon or by ordering stickers, shirts, hats, all that stuff through spindat.com or like whenever you have a purchase that you need to make, you, you do it through like the Amazon links below. And I like super appreciate that because that means I get to like hold on to these bikes at least for the next month or two. And then maybe, maybe we need to put this into actual action. But for now, we're good. Thank you. Th thank you very much. <laughs>